Angie Carchese, and this is your UWW-TV News Update. After a very thorough investigation by the UW system, Chancellor Dwight Watson has been cleared to work as of Monday, October 5th. The UW system's investigations found that the allegations made against the Chancellor were false. In a statement, Regent President Andrew S. Peterson said, I am glad this thorough investigation has concluded and that the allegations made against Chancellor Watson were found to be without merit. We look forward to the Chancellor's return in leading UW-Whitewater on Monday. In other news, a new campus fund has been started in order to help improve the lives of students who are in quarantine due to COVID-19. The fund was put together in a response to many students expressing their desire to help those who had been put in quarantine. Donations made to the Warhawk Quarantine Fund will go directly to providing quarantine students with care packages of toiletries and various snacks and beverages. The fund will also cover study break food deliveries from local restaurants, daily rewards, and post-quarantine celebration packages. Finally, a helpful reminder with the COVID-19 pandemic, it has never been more important to voluntarily get your flu vaccine and complete antigen testing. Appointments must be made by calling 262-472-1300. The Whitewater campus offers appointments Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Ambrose Health Center. The Rock County campus offers appointments 8 to 11 a.m. on Tuesdays in Hyatt Smith Hall. The flu shot costs $15 for students, and the antigen test is free. Faculty and staff pay $20 for their flu shot. For more updates, stay tuned to UWW-TV, check us out at uwwtv.org, or tune into the 24-hour stream at reslife.uww.edu backslash stream. I'm Angie Carchese, and this has been your news update on UWW-TV.